Welcome back to the Redneck TV channel. And today, time for some more truck clickbait. My truck is literally trash. Like, for real. Rogan, Rogan. That was weak. Rogan. It's hard to kick in pants, man. Especially when you're cocky. Clickbait aside, my truck is really fucked up, man. I'm just countless of years and years of abuse. Just like my shirt, mint green, buddy. Well, we're gonna go over the Ford's issues here in a little bit. First, gotta inject some backer in my veins, man. I'm fiending, Mr. Krabs. So yeah, if you choose to partake, so yeah, if you choose to partake, choose to part, choose to partake, part bull steak, taking the bull. <laughs> Pack wild with me, y'all. But anyways, back to the title. My truck's literally trash, man. There's trash in the back. So yeah, I don't have the dump out here. Well, I do. Just haven't had it set up yet. So I've been collecting trash in the back of my truck, right? Getting a little out of hand. We got to get rid of this bullshit, man. It stinks. Yeah. It's a full thing of gas. It didn't look like it, though. I bet y'all thought that was like a quarter full of lamp. Yeah. Guys, uh, y'all know I got that fire pit in the backyard. Lots of shit in the fire pit to keep the trash burning. It was all of the wood that was in the field. All the sticks and extra posts I didn't get. I drug them all over there with the full wheeler the other day. Threw them in the fire pit. And now we're about to burn an ungodly amount of trash on top of it. But we're gonna wait later to do that till it starts getting a little darker. But let's get on with the title of the video. The truck. All right, what's wrong with it? There's trash in it. It's garbage. Basically a dumpster right now. It does start. What, you don't believe me? Oh yeah, I mean, the truck runs. Runs like butter, no knocks. Doesn't even miss. Cause I built that shit up. Been a pain in a shop to just throw a bullshit ass used motor in there without even taking it apart first, cleaning the part, you know? Put some real effort into it. Okay, I just need to shut up. I keep being cocky like this, my motor's just gonna blow up next video. But as for the tranny bowl, ah, the tranny. <laughs> Wow. It needs new headlights, new mirrors, new windshield. I need to slap the gears in. And then after that, it'll appear to be a clean truck. But yeah, I know a lot of y'all is wanting to update on the old Ford. Lots of people was like, oh yeah, man, it blew up. Oh, he took the motor out of it and made it to run his house as a generator. I don't know, I read a bunch of crazy shit. All I'm saying is the truck's fine. It doesn't need that much. It's still got some haul left in its ye. You know what I'm saying. But the main thing that's broken on it right now is the brake line. I don't even know which one it is. It appears to be that caliper line over there that went out. Ah. So we're gonna burn all that trash. But first, we gotta wait for it to start getting dark. So for the meantime, I'm gonna work on this piece of shit. You know why that tarp's over it? Keep rain from getting in the window. Do you know why there's no windows in it? All right, man, I, I just gotta come out to you. So like the first day that I drove this thing here from my old house, kinda had a little rage moment on it. But it was reasonable rage. It wasn't just a crazy random mental breakdown or something. <laughs> for some reason, this Explorer, when you close the door, it automatically locks the doors. I, I don't know why. I hop out of the Explorer, run inside, run back out, and the damn thing's locked with the keys in the ignition. Gosh, man. Yeah, man. In the moment, I was pissed the fuck off. I picked up a brick. I hesitated for a minute. I was, you know, kind of done that a few times. And then I and I yeeted it so uncontrollably hard. It went through this window and slammed through the other window. Damn it. That's what we're going to fix right now. Is there a bra in my toolbox? Yeah. Door panel wasn't even held on by any screws. Hope to God that the battery has some juice in it. So this little bracket here, this is what holds the window and it's actually not unboltable. Any window I've ever replaced, it's always had like a screw up here that tightens this little clamp that holds the window in place. So we're probably gonna have to end up breaking this guy off here and then just putting a nut and washer through it. Cause if not, I'm gonna have to go get some shit. All right, so we got the windows here. These new windows do have brackets already made on them. All we gotta do is just find a nut and bolt sitting around. Four of them, matter of fact. Do my best to claw and bite my way through this packaging. I'll just use a piece of glass I found in the car. 
I'm just gonna get a drill and drill out the middle of it. That'd be the easiest. Why am I trying to pry it? So this is my first time actually ever dealing with a rivet. I've never actually had to take one off. I've always got by it somehow. Oh, that was hot. I have this bigger one now. When in doubt, bigger drill bit. Got that piece of shit off. Now we gotta get the other one off. The only way to access this rivet, this little access hole down here. But first, before I do that, I wanna vacuum lots of glass. Grab that there. Oh my gosh. to go put the window in and I seen all that shit and that'll scratch the fire out of a new window. One little piece right there. I'm gonna cut this bolt, make it a little shorter. I didn't even chip up a thread. This blade literally has nothing on it. So I got lucky and I found these in my garage and they're gonna work. We're gonna have to do some super duper silly shit. Yeah, my arm's like actually stuck in wrench there. I left the damn key on being a dumbass. Something I found in my garage. Yeah, it's been broke for a long time. Yeah, I figured I'd just do this, maybe give y'all some entertainment. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Oh shit, we forgot the damn wind panel. Ain't nobody gonna miss that. And now I gotta do the exact same bullshit on this side. I'm about to jump this thing. I'm not gonna record me doing this side. I only got one bar of battery left on this camera and sadly my GoPro is out of commission. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on charge. Back to y'all, I'm gonna be throwing that trash in that pile. All right, y'all, so that other window motor is out so I can't install the glass. Got it all apart and everything. I'm just gonna leave it like that till I get a window motor. the black tornado it shot to the left in like a thousand pieces and all of them were on fire so it looked really cool the fire is starting to burn down a little bit. Go out there in a little bit and shuffle it around, throw some more gas on it. My girl cooked some supper while I was doing all that. Tacos with everything on them. Made herself a little taco salad. Thanks. So it's currently the very next day. A whole day later and the fire is still smoking. But yeah, I was talking about the truck yesterday and all the shit that's wrong with it. And to make it drivable, really the only thing I need is brakes and then I got it. I wanna drive this thing. We gotta diagnose the leak. First thing we gotta do to figure out where this leak's coming from, dump this shit in there. So now, push the brake. Fluid should fly out of the hole. I'm gonna start it up, get the brake booster activating. Oh, there it is. See if y'all can see the leak. I'll have to rewatch the video that I just recorded. Pretty sure in here I do have, yep. 
We've got some quarter inch brake line right here. We're gonna go ahead and unhook it from here and then cut it back here and then just put a little new piece in. We just need to find a better way to secure this line. That's the reason it broke anyway. But I'm about to go to the parts store real quick. I'll get back with you. Found out that line isn't a quarter inch, so I had to buy a little pre-flared line and then I got a compression fitting. Hot man, this spring shit is so on there. One piece. I'm gonna need some sandpaper. It ain't going nowhere. Our brake line should be fixed and we can rock the Ford once again. Hell yeah. Just give me a reason. <laughs> New line's on. I guess she ain't leaking in. Now all I need to do is bleed the brake. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and gravity bleed them. Where's my fluid? fluid. Literally just had a full thing of dot free brake fluid. Ah. I don't, I don't know where it's at. It's really pissing me off. Why can something of that size just fucking disappear? I just don't know where this shit's at. Where? I can't find it anywhere. It's nowhere. Like literally, I think somebody walked over here when I wasn't looking and stole my fucking brake fluid. Why? But yeah, the brake line's fixed. So yeah, we can romp the old Ford again. We'll drive something with muscle mass. <laughs> How hot one of these little guys is, then, huh? Literally tastes like paper. It's hey. out of ass. All I know is that's a guy. <laughs> Feel it. Does beer cure the stain? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh god, it hurts. Hey, can I get some milk or something? We're at three minutes now. <coughs> it's so fucking hot! Here you go, Mimo. <laughs> Your eyes are so red. So you trying to go shoot a spoon meal tonight or what? <laughs> like, who just wakes up and is like, I want that. <laughs> go away. <laughs> you just gotta hold milk in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> starting to get better now. Yeah. That's a micer eating a Carolina Reamer. Craig's about to eat, eat it. Okay. I eat it fast. Eat it yeah, all. you gotta eat it, it all. One bite. All of it. All of it, Greg. Swallow it. it. Swallow it. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Is that bad? I feel like I got stung by a scorpion on the tongue. Oh, it went in my eye. Oh, my God. I'm not putting no more of that motherfucker in my mouth, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Well, you at least gotta make yourself- That's stupid. <laughs> I swallowed the chocolate milk. Oh, bro. <laughs> Spit on it, ma'am. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> what do you rate the Carolina Reaper? One to ten. Fucking ten, bro. It still hurts. I mean, I got the palate of a little kid, though. Like, I eat, like, fucking McChicken's plain and shit. <laughs>